guys, it's Mini a Girl here. Um, so today we're going to just put resin on top of this acrylic pour painting. I wanted to resin specifically just because I thought it would look awesome with this painting, but also because there is um, some unicorn spit in here, which uh, resin is supposedly a good way to seal that. So we have our resin mixed up here. I'm using Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat. And that is mixed up 50-50 with resin and hardener. And you can see the um, link to check out the product down in the description along with a discount code if you want to try it out. Um, so basically we just start right in the middle there. And also as a note, I am in my garage. I have um, the heater on though so that it's warmer in here because resin doesn't do that great in cold weather. Now if you have a squeegee or something, you can use that. I just like to use my hands. And you always wanna mix up a little bit more resin than you think you need. And also I pour a little less on my canvas than I think I need, because you can easily pour more on. It's not as easy to take some off, so. This looks like it will probably be a pretty perfect coverage amount for this canvas. And I first get the tops, the tops, <laughs> there's only one top. I get the top completely and then worry about the sides. And then after all that, we're going to torch it once this is completely covered. Okay. As a note also, there's no silicone in this painting. Um, resin and silicone do not get along together. So if you have, if you used silicone in your painting, it's going to be hard to clean it off enough that the resin will not leave spots as it's drying. So I wouldn't actually recommend putting resin over a painting that you use silicone with, but you definitely can if you want. It's a free country. <laughs> um, there you go. Also, one other quick note, if your canvas is sinking in the middle at all, as a lot of canvases do, um, you can spray the back of it with a little bit of water first, and that will help tighten up the canvas so that your resin doesn't pool in the middle. Okay, so at this point, I've got full coverage of the top and the sides, and I'm going to go ahead and torch this to get out any air bubbles. And yes, you absolutely need a torch. Or a heat gun could work, uh, but you need some source of heat to get rid of the air bubbles, otherwise they will dry in there. And you can even use just like a mini butane torch lighter, you know, that you can get at the gas station for a couple bucks. If you look down in the description, um, I have a link to my Amazon store, which has several options in there. This is a burns matic torch that you can get at Home Depot for like 30 bucks or something. So, just make sure all the air bubbles are out. It looks good. And then now we leave this to dry for 24 hours. And then, uh, yeah, we'll come back and we'll see how it looks once it is all dry. All right, guys, we're back. It's the next day. This is now all dry. So as you can see, it does still look wet. Um, it's very smooth. Looks like glass. Um, one interesting note with this, which is only relevant to the unicorn spit, because I'd mentioned that I was resonating this because I used unicorn spit in it. Um, it doesn't seem to have mattered. <laughs> it went through the back um, when I put the resin on it anyways so see that's pink anyways I just thought that was interesting um, yeah but that is irrelevant to the fact of covering a painting with resin and making it look gorgeous so if you have the um, resources to do so I definitely recommend sealing your paintings with resin, especially ones that you really, really love as it really makes the colors pop. It makes them nice and durable, and I just think it looks gorgeous. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.